Okay, so originally I was not planning to make this video, or I guess it's more accurate to say that I physically couldn't make this video since if you guys missed my summoning video from a few days ago, I wasn't able to pull this guy in like 35 tickets plus another 400 or so stones, which kind of sucked, but it wasn't really a surprise since that's just how the game goes sometimes, right? But then, a few hours after I posted that video, I got my daily reset stones, and that gave me enough to do another multi, and I just so happened to be on the toilet at the time, so I was like, F it, toilet luck? It's never gonna be more effective or potent, if you will, than right now. So I went ahead and dropped a multi, and uh, we got a double screen crack, got some panties, and as you can see, I now have the new AGL Captain Ginyu. So long story short, in today's video, we are going to be showcasing the new and improved Ginyu Force team featuring the AGL Captain Ginyu, as well as the Extreme Z Awakening to the Fizz LR Ginyu Force. And this team, in my opinion, should now be considered a top tier team in the game, despite being mostly free to play. And of course, the definition for top tier is different depending on who you're talking to. I'm not trying to say that it's going to rival a really good Pure Saiyans team or Realm of Gods team, but it is very, very powerful now, as you guys will see in uh, just a moment. So with all that said, we're going to jump into the Legendary Vegeta event, which is, you know, still one of the more challenging events in the game, and see just how good this team is now. So, on the first rotation, we have both of the Ginyus, obviously. I will mostly be featuring the friend Ginyu, since that one is 79%, whereas mine is only at 55%. But uh, even at 55%, the Ginyu is absolutely amazing. So we're starting with 214,000 defense for the friend, 163,000 for mine, and uh, obviously they do stack defense, so that number is going to be getting much, much higher. And uh, let's give a few orbs to these guys. Doesn't really matter. Oh, it looks like we're starting with a super from the Vegeta immediately. That will probably hurt a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. That's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so first super, 4.68 mil. That's with a single support from the uh, STR Jace. Or rather, I guess technically both the Captain Ginyus are also support units. But yeah, that number will also be getting a lot higher once we get the Int uh, Jason Burger as supports. And also once we uh, do the body change into the Ginyu Goku. So stay tuned for that. Um, on this rotation, I'm going to leave the Burder and Jace here so they can eventually support the Captain Ginyu. Um, we are going to see some fun stuff from the Fizz LR Ginyu because, like I said, with the Extreme Z Awakening, they're really good now. Like, this free to play LR is um, arguably one of the better free to play LRs in the game. Okay, so we're taking a super. 60k, not bad. Attack stat 5.2. 5.2. We get a crit. No crit additional. Okay, no additional either. I kind of messed up with the Burder. Okay, just to be clear, I messed up because Burder is a nuker and uh, he gets more powerful the more orbs you give him. And I think I only gave him one orb. So that was my mistake. He could have been a lot better on this rotation. Okay, just so you guys know. Okay, so now we're back with the Captain Ginyu. We have a super at the end, which really doesn't matter that much since uh, Ginyu will be killing Vegeta before he gets to attack us. So here we go. And the attack should be a little bit lower now since um, we lost the support from the other Ginyu, right? But still more than enough to kill Vegeta, of course. There you go. 
And uh, now my Ginyu is on this rotation. I guess we'll use this rotation to showcase the Fizz LR a little bit more since, uh, you know, the AGL Ginyu and the Extreme Z Awakening are the new additions to the team, right? But yeah, outside of those guys, like the other free-to-play Ginyu Force members, the Burger, the Jace, the Raccoon, they've all been mad impressive, man. Like with the 200% leader skills provided by the AGL Captain Ginyu, this team as a whole just like works together so well. There's so much synergy and uh, you can like mix mix and match the pieces as well. Like you could maybe put the uh, Tech Guldo in here if you want. He's also really good. The Int Captain Ginyu is good as well, but I didn't want to have too many Ginyus on the team. So I didn't include him, but yeah, I've just been like super impressed with this, once again, man, mostly free-to-play team, right? Okay, so this is like the perfect setup, guys. This is basically the perfect setup. We got the uh, Ginyu linked up with the Raccoon, or sorry, the uh, Birder and Jace, and then also the STR Jace for some additional support. We're looking at 523,000 defense from the AGL friend Captain Ginyu on turn five. And uh, we might be able to one-shot this Vegeta. Maybe not, maybe not, but regardless, we'll do a lot of damage here. We're about to do a lot of damage. Okay, so just over six mil. Just over six mil. I would like to see an additional super. One more. Damn it, okay. So he, he does have a chance for an additional super. On his passive which we haven't seen yet um at least the tanking was quite good <laughs> we just took we just took that for or double digits right 52 or something like that well, that was nice i still want to see double triple supers at some point but uh, i guess that'll have to wait um let's see let's put mike and you in the first slot because he doesn't actually have that much defense right now so we're gonna let him build a little bit we also should let the raccoon take a few attacks at some point because he needs to build up his passive uh, passive as well from taking a few hits right so yeah we'll we'll do all that eventually so here's my 55 percent ginyu i don't know if he's actually attacked yet but 4.3 mil so as i mentioned earlier in the video even at 55 percent the ginyu is still very very good Okay, uh, I guess we don't really have to worry about taking supers on this turn since we have a lot of defense. Um, one thing that I'm a bit concerned about actually is like, are we going to get a chance to see the Ginyu Goku transformation? Because these guys are actually very good defensively, like the team as a whole, like all these units are very good defensively. And it might be hard to fall below the 70% HP threshold to get the Ginyu Goku exchange. So I'm hoping we take a super um, sometime soon. That's going to deal a good amount of damage to us. So we can get that body change because I really want to show you guys what that looks like in this video. But it's not really happening right now. <laughs> I guess it's a good problem to have. I guess it's a good problem to have because that means we're not really dying. Um, but at the same time, this showcase would not be complete without having a couple of rotations of the Ginyu Goku. So we'll see how that goes. Very nice. Very nice. 3.4 mil for Birder. He's also stacking defense. So he's getting pretty tanky right now. And... There is going to be a super attack um, on this turn, but there's also a chance that we just kill Vegeta before he gets to attack us. So the point is, this team is too strong. <laughs> I think I think that's a bit of a problem, actually. This team is a little bit too powerful. Um, I'm kind of hoping we don't kill him here. And of course we do. Damn. Okay. 
Yo, it's this is this is like DJ Khaled like suffering from su success, you know. <laughs> it's just like we're too powerful, man. We're, we're too powerful right now, and I'm a little bit scared to put the Burger and Jace in the first slot because if we take a super there, then that could actually kill us. So it's not really worth the risk there. Um, I think putting them in the second slot makes sense since um, they'll be a little bit more tanky after they super. So yeah, let's go. Let's let, let's just do that. Let's go ahead and uh, leave them in the second slot. Maybe we'll take a super there, get us down a little bit, and uh, you know after that, on the next rotation, I can pop the active skill or my Ginyu Goku or my Captain Ginyu to make him Ginyu Goku. And we can at least get a few supers off with the Ginyu Goku. That is the plan. Hopefully it works out. Okay, so here's a super from Biz Vegeta. It's gonna do 65 damage to us. Yeah. This is a problem, guys. It's a good problem but a problem nonetheless <laughs> okay um maybe I'll just leave birder where he is we'll just give him we'll just give him like one orb or maybe we can put yeah we can put the LR here okay and maybe we can take a super in the first slot there that'd be nice or maybe Oh, we're getting a Dokkan attack too. Man. <laughs> Steam's too good. It, this team is too good. We are absolutely manhandling the uh, legendary Vegeta. Oh crap, I messed up. Maybe I meant to mess up. Maybe that was on purpose. <laughs> we need to nerf this team a little bit. Um, but yeah, we are absolutely manhandling the legendary Vegeta event, which by no means is an easy event. I mean, it's it's still pretty tough, you know, relatively speaking. We shouldn't be having this easy of a time with it. We really shouldn't. And you guys haven't even seen anything as far as, like, damage goes, because once, you know, we become Ginyu Goku, we're able to stack attack and do even more damage turn after turn. And I just can't physically show that to you guys because we're too good defensively, apparently. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, we took some damage there. That's good. It's not enough to get us below 70%. Oh, it doesn't even matter though because we're going to heal up. So, yeah. There we go. Back to full health again. Um, it looks like we're not getting supered this turn. According to Jace, who is a very reliable source. Um, okay, so I guess we will leave Jace in the last slot. I don't think he'll get killed there. At least, I hope not. Because that would suck, making it this far in the video to get killed. Um, my, my goal is like you know to let Jace take those normals and uh, get us below 70% HP. So we can become Ginyu Goku on the next rotation. That is the theory. But it could get us killed. This is what happens when your team is too tanky. You have to like purposely do things to like sabotage yourself. And um, yeah, I'm kind of worried right now that we just die here. Oh no, perfect. Okay, perfect. We're taking good damage, but not a ton of damage. And we are still, we are still above 80% or 70% HP. Okay, um, I wish there was an item that hurts you. I really wish there was an item that could like, like do damage to you. <laughs> but unfortunately, that does not exist in this game. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll just proceed as, you know, as, as normal, and, uh, 
hope that it works out. I don't know guys, I was really hoping to get the transformation at some point in this video. But it's not happening. <laughs> it's just not happening. I'm trying my best. I really am. Okay, so I'm trying my best while also not getting killed. Because... Oh, this is good. This is good. I think we got it. Okay, we got it. We got it. And we're not going to be able to stack too many times. But at the very least, you guys can, can see, see a glimpse of uh, Ginyu Goku. And I guess at this point, that's all I can really ask for. That's all I can really ask for. Okay. So, yeah, here we go. Here we go. We're going to transform. Let me turn on the animation. Or rather, not skip it. And enjoy, guys. Um... See, I thought I had turned it off before, but it was actually on, and I just turned it. Yeah, that's that's my mistake. <laughs> Yo, I'm just not like with it today, man. Okay, check out the defense: seven hundred ninety-seven thousand. Very good. That's that's really really good. All the defense actually: two hundred k for the um, Birder and Jace. 244k for the birder alone um yeah i'm sorry guys i'm just not all the way here today apparently <laughs> there's a lot going on there's a lot going on um well i'm sure you guys have seen the animations at this point you know you, you saw the preview it's it's okay and yeah, we're going to start stacking attack now from here with the Ginyu Goku. Um, additional super, awesome. As you can see, big difference from first super to the second super. We're looking at 4.8 to 5.4. Um, could have been a third super. Didn't get it, unfortunately, but that's totally fine. And uh, there's a possibility we can maybe get one more turn out of him if I somehow strategically play the next rotation to not do as much damage as we could. I don't know if that's possible though. Because he only has two bars left. So, yeah. This, this, this showcase is just a mess. <laughs> this showcase has been very messy okay so we're gonna give this super to the lr um i think that might do it actually i think once the lr supers um vegeta is gonna be dead but if not then we can get one more attack from my captain ginyu and either way this rotation will be the last rotation of the video oh here's the super let's see how well they take it i'm gonna say 300k 427 damn okay so that's more than i thought that's more than i thought their defense would have easily been over 300k plus and we still took that much damage but no item run legendary vegeta events there was never really a point in the showcase where i was scared that i was gonna die except for maybe at the very end right there you know for that last super and even then you know we didn't get that close to dying and it was actually a struggle too lose HP to get the Ginyu Goku transformation. So, um, hopefully, my point was made evident by that run right there. Yo, new and improved Ginyu Force team with the new AGL Captain Ginyu. Top tier. Top tier team in the game right now. Let's say, if you're going by like the traditional rankings that I see a lot out there, the, the best of the best teams are in their own tier, let's say Z tier, right? That's where the Realm of Gods goes, that's where the Pure Saiyans, the Majin Buu Saga, and so on and so forth, right? That's where those teams go. This team would be just one tier below that, which would be S tier, 
I guess, right? So Z tier, best teams, but S tier right below, still among the best teams, maybe not on the same level as Pure Saiyans, but somewhere in that mix, somewhere in that mix. And then of course below that would be like A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, so on and so forth. So yeah, one of the best teams in the game right now, no question. And it's even more impressive the fact that it's a mostly free to play team. The category is like 85% free to play. So uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. And I'm so glad I got this guy. Toilet luck prevails. Again, if you guys are struggling, trying to get a unit, give it a shot. You got nothing to lose, go sit on the toilet, maybe even be using it, and uh, <laughs> pull out your phones, pull out your devices, and do a summon, and uh, praise the toilet overlords. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. My brain has stopped working. So guys, thank you so much for watching this showcase. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And yeah, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.